what is going on with Tron welcome back guys it's Crypto Rocco here and today I'll be giving you guys an update on Tron so Tron has been on the news again it's always in the news for the good or the bad so I'll be giving you guys an update on Tron what's been going on with the news guys I'll do my technical analysis and price prediction and then guys I'll be giving you guys an uh, just an overall thoughts on Tron so guys again this is not financial advice guys please do your own research you can can go back look at my other videos check how my calls have worked and then decide whether you want to listen but please guys do make your own decision and have risk management in place do not sell your house and buy Tron and XRP guys so guys Tron has been in the news for bad reasons lately guys the price has gone down there's been rumors of Justin Sun money laundering accusations guys and that is not good if you imagine if you're invested in a stock guys you wouldn't want you know this their CEO to be um, you know accused of money laundering so the Chinese media accuses Tron a founder of money laundering and guys this is endless stuff drama with Tron guys Tron you know makes announcements about making announcements about about making announcements you know the price of Tron pumped because Justin Sun paid loads of money to just to have a lunch with Warren Buffett so there's been some crazy stuff going on but Justin Sun has denied this illegal practices he's apparently given money back to Chinese uh, funds that he's raised he's in he's trying to claim that he's in Singapore with Tron I have had a look at the white paper guys and you know a lot of it is Chinese with Tron guys I haven't been able to you know um, if I was investing again I'm not a fundamental analyst I don't invest uh, depending on fundamentals I, I'm more of a technical trader guys and I'll trade Tron if the price is great I'll talk about some of the trades I took some for profit some for losses but guys the, these fundamentals you don't really want that I mean the fundamentals when I look at a stock you know I look at you know the money that they're making you know their the their bank statements their their value what value proposition that they've got if it's a new company not generating cash uh, so there's different things that you look at guys so in 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 the stock in the crypto market I've talked about Binance their project how much money they get in transaction fees I've talked about some of the other coins that are like with Tron I mean I know what they're trying to do with decentralization competing with you know Ethereum EOS with uh, in terms of dApps but what are they actually doing when I talk to people again I'm not a developer or a cryptographer when I talk to people in the industry you know I've heard people that actually use uh, ethereum they say ethereum is great you know they they actually uh, there's use cases to it with the crypto kit it's a crazy world with ethereum although you know it's faster or quicker is it actually you know uh, is it actually that scalable with the security good enough uh, is decentralization enough I mean I'm, I'm not again th those are some answers that you need to look more into it before investing heavily in Tron so the crypto whisker postponed his 4.6 million launch with Warren Buffett the rumors are he's, he's entrapped in China so you know people some people are saying he's in jail I'm not saying he is or he isn't but we know when you can't make a lunch that you've paid five million dollars for there should be some alarm bells ringing so you know I'm not again this is not something you'd want to see if you're heavily invested in Tron so that's another thing I'm saying you know Justin Sun he, he surfaces in San Francisco contrary to the media reports apparently he's you know been on Instagram I think I've tweeted about this as well you know he's, he's been shown to be on um on on San Francisco he posted some pictures I think having dinner or lunch with someone else so there are loads of rumors going on we're not really sure what's going on and this is not really good to know uh, when you see this and when 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 the CEO of a company that you're invested in heavily talks like this guys you don't really want to see this sort of stuff going ahead so that's some of the things that I don't like about Tron if you look at their news guys they've got you know buyback rumors talking about giveaways you don't really want to see that you want to see you know them solving an actual world problem Problem. They're not really talking about, you know, buybacks or airdrops. You know, BTT airdrop finish. You don't really want to hear that or hear about partnerships. So you know, we've gotten over. You know, in 2017 when they were announcing partnerships, coin would pump 100% to 300%. I'll get. I'd like to think that we're over that what is strong how to buy it so these are some of the things that I do not necessarily would like to see as much. So that's just my thoughts, guys. I'm not really a huge fan of that.
one thing i mean i would like to talk about some of the positives as well guys so what tron is trying to do is massive again if you hear their vision is you you get sold into it, especially someone who likes blockchain i love listening to what tron wants to do their vision their, their if you look at their roadmap i'll talk about it in a bit what they're trying to do um it sounds great i mean in theory it sounds great but if you're really believing that you understand the technology you understand their value proposition then you could scale into it but there's so much uncertainty with blockchain and cryptocurrency anyway i mean it's very difficult for me to say invest in it um, but you, there are good rumors you know good news that you know it continues to dominate the d app market i'm not sure what the d apps how how valuable the d apps are but you know users is actually good the tron bet drove tron to number one spot you know their market they've had they bought BitTorrent again that's again mixed mixed reviews on that as well that i'm not really convinced on buying BitTorrent. there they've got people you know, other projects being launched some of the projects are actually interesting Winx is one that i'm actually interested in so i have done you know looked into tron a bit more but again buying uh, buyback you know in, in the short term it will probably effect um you know the supply and if the supply is less you know the price could t technically go up in theory so there are things that's going on for tron so what tron is trying to do in earlier june they've announced soon to release blockchain based platform odyssey to version 3.6 it will contain new features so again in if you look into detail um i did i tried to find some research on that again i wasn't too happy with it i mean I don't. I still do not see what the use case is, and I keep. I feel like I'm a parrot repeating the same thing, but I do not see what the use case is for for Tron just yet. And again, I'll, I'll talk about price in, in in a bit, and I'll probably give you some suggestions from my point of view if you want to invest in Tron long term as well. So the roadmap, guys. They talked about the main net. I've talked about the Odyssey, what they're trying to do, and again, if they can actually improve the environment, you know, the, uh, they give. Uh, invite actual decentralized applications that solves worldwide problems then great if they can do that then i will be interested in trying i mean it might be a bit too late to invest in it but it it, it will be great what they're trying to do their vision with uh, apollo their eternity some of the things that they're trying to do in the future is great and they've got other criticisms as well i, I mean now you can watch my other videos on tron i've made i've been making videos on tron for over over a couple of years now you could check them out yourself so there are loads of other criticisms as well we trans i mean i wanted to end it on a positive note so that's why i talked about some of the positives as well guys and rocks the trading channel i try to be quite open and honest and try to share with you my thoughts i'm not just you know uh just trying to shill coins saying xrp 2000 tron to 10,000. i'm not i'm not that kind of a youtube channel so let's have a look at the price guys i'll talk about the dollar chart first although i emphasize more on the btc chart i'm looking at the dollar chart initially so if you look at this guys Tron has pulled back massively. It bounced from there, guys, and since then it rallied hard. I was hoping it could stay above here. I took a trade on here uh, in in the BTC chart. It couldn't stay above it. It came down. It's below the moving averages now. This is a zone. I mean, I was I was, I was going to draw a line here, you know, to say you know you could potentially look to buy here for the short term play. For the long term, guys, two zones I'll be looking out for is probably you know the what was around this you know one six six zone or maybe even if it does get below you know one the, the one two zero level those are two levels i could be looking to buy if you are a long-term investor if i'm more of a trader guys i would like to see um where's my there it is and um, i'd like to see you know it make a higher low and a higher high i'd like to see something like this then I, I will try to trade tron at the moment i'm not too interested in tron but like i've said before the key chart you need to be looking at is the tron btc chart i did take a trade here guys um, I, I shared it um on my youtube channel i've talked about it in telegram facebook if you've not subscribed guys make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button i'm quite close to 5,000 subscribers i'll be doing another giveaway so make sure you turn on a uh, subscription button you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button the btc chart guys i took a trade where did i take the my trade i took a trade here guys and i was hoping my target my initial target was here and then if it broke above i'll hold and it would be a, another great massive breakup unfortunately we didn't get that i think i sold when it when i saw that big red candle around this zone and at the moment it's struggling to get above that green zone guys and unless it can get above it i'm not going to be interested in trading it could drop further guys it could drop to you know the 150 satoshi level it could easily drop to that level so i'm not going to be looking at that 
as of yet guys it, it needs to break above this green zone if you're an investor as well guys you could wait for the price to get above this green zone and you know try to see a bias coming in and stepping in with higher volume that's just a simple quick technical analysis tip so that's my quick update on Tron. Um, if, you, if you've been following in Tron and invested in Tron, hopefully that video gives you a bit more perspective and you found something valuable out of it. I am on holiday this week, guys, so I've not been as uh, busy in my Facebook group where I usually post signals, daily cryptocurrency updates. I'm going to start posting them a lot more, guys. I've been quite busy, so I've not been able to post as much, but there's loads of knowledgeable people there, people actually making money from trading. So make sure you can uh, so, uh, join this group. It's completely free to join. The link is below if you would like to join. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My question to you guys is what is your thoughts on Tron? Do you think it will break into new highs? Do you think it's going to be a great? project for 2019 or are you also concerned as well comment below guys and um, I'll make another video to keep you guys up to date so thank you very much subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button smash that like button guys and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much go Tron